What's good, everyone? This your main correspondent, Alan Taylor, and I'm back in the broadcast room yet again with another one. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. I got Miss Dee Dee on the screen. Real talk. Shout out to her. You know, it's, it's going down like that. Yeah, so, you know, she she got some, some Dean Bad shit going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Now, she is presenting a situation here where the girls are on a uh, they're on a girls trip and lo and behold what? one of these girls decide to uh, uh, entertain her man <laughs> while she's on the girl trip on the girls trip you know okay so uh, how about why is the other girl getting mad all right but, you know, it is what it is out there. You know what I'm saying? You know I like the clown. Real talk. But let's get into it. Here we go. Here we go. I'm recording this video for my safety because because you're being real hostile. You was being hostile because your cousin is here. It is a girl's trip. And she keeps saying I brought but I brought my, my man came to see me the last night. Okay, so let me chime in really quickly, you guys. Apparently, they're on a girl's trip. The the girl in the back who's screaming, she's mad because the one who's filming brought her boyfriend on the last night of the trip. So she's saying this was supposed to be a girl's trip and why are you bringing your man? It's not about him. She don't want him there, right? So that's what I'm hearing so far. You know, a lot of people are comparing this to the Shaquilla Robinson situation, you know, with, on that last girl's trip, it ended, you know, that girl's life. But child, I don't know. These girls trips be off the chain. I'm just saying, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, but let's continue. Cousin, and now she's acting weird. She all right, y'all, hold on here. But um, okay, now it's time me on it. But it's just it's just crazy to me how you know what I'm saying women are going on these girls trips and you know all of this craziness starting to happen. You know this. I mean, I don't know what what are y'all actually doing on these girls trips. This is the this may be a question that needs to be you know that needs to be answered here. It, it, it just might need to be answered because I mean, you know, I, I just can't see somebody being that uh, overwhelmingly mad because, you know, yo, you chilling with your friends supposed to be. Yo, they, they supposed to be friends, right? Everybody's supposed to be having a good time. OK, so they having a good time and shit like that. And, uh, you know, uh, you know. My partner's wife stopped by to see him. Who the fuck gonna get mad about some shit like that? What? You know, what I'm I, I mean, who, who does that? Y'all supposed to be friends and shit. So what, the, man? These motherfuckers be up to some shit. But they supposed to be my friends. These supposed to be my friends. Y'all motherfuckers be up to no good out there on them girls trips. Real talk. was an audience and I only went live honestly because I just don't feel safe she got her cousins here first off you with your cousins but you want to act weird you know you knew my dude was gonna be down here so of course he was gonna come now let me ask you this so if somebody's boyfriend showed up on the last day or even showed up in the middle of the girl's trip why would I be pissed about that I don't understand what right. would piss you off so so much to the point where you want to fight and breaking glass and acting a fool just because their boyfriend or even it could be their husband just showed up on the last night or showed up to just say hi and leave. Why would that piss you off? I don't understand. You have to be really careful and know 
the people who you are going on these trips with because somebody can get you off somewhere and start the, the BS and then you know we can have a, a, a tragic situation so you really have to vet these friends and know if these are truly your friends because if that's your friend why are you so angry that her man showed up on one night I don't understand I don't what are y'all doing on these girls trips you know what I'm saying it's, it's kind of questionable to me baby but let's continue mind you we got our own rooms you see you see what I'm saying why can't my man come to the Airbnb that I'm paying for that's that's what I'm not understanding and I just don't feel safe I can't leave until tomorrow and I'm about to matter of fact I'm about to call him to come pick me up because this shit weird as I just want to go live right now because she got some real different I'm gonna say hey look here people look here people you know these these man Y'all girls need to start watching who y'all be friends with and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like men have to. Everybody got to watch that shit. You know, this is just the reality that we living in here. You going out here, you, you going on these trips long distance from your own home. You know what I'm saying? Definitely too long distance that you know you don't know nobody else in that city except for these motherfuckers that you're supposed to be with. Okay? So now, you get to this situation right here where y'all in a hotel room, y'all damn near getting ready to scrap. Well, one is being more aggressive than the other one. Let's just point that out. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, you know, ain't no bullshit to that. That's just how that's going, though. You know what I'm saying? This, this individual is snapping out for some reason petty like that. That, you know, uh, you invited your your boyfriend over or you invited you know vice versa how you know just just pay attention man how was you gonna sit there and get mad at this girl because her man came to see her that don't make no damn sense you man y'all with these evil ass spirits man y'all out here going crazy because you're acting hot girl i'm recording you because you're so mad. I brought my, you know what? I'm not about to keep arguing with you. I'm about to have, I'm about to have my man come pick me up. Stop following me, bro. Damn. Hold up. Hold up. I'm like, baby girl, own it, man. She following her and every damn thing, and man, like, why is you following this girl? What the hell? What the hell y'all really be doing on them girls' trips, man? Y'all need to. Man, just and what the French toast is there to think about? Obviously, it's a lot, man. What do y'all be doing? Y'all out there turning the, turning your friends out and shit, and you just having fun, but she actually in love with your ding bad ass. You know? <laughs> Don't get me started, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, fellas. Your girl's best friend is in love with her on that damn girl's trip. Don't play, don't play this shit. Look, look, we supposed to all be friends. So what the French toast is there to think about? Yeah, y'all friends are all right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just saying. I know, ain't nobody gonna get that emotional about just, just like that's that's too much. You have to think about what comes behind those type of emotions where this young lady is getting this upset. This upset. <laughs> Over her best, her best friends or whatever, a, a man coming to see her while they're on while they're on that trip, and everybody's you know paying their own way. This shit makes no sense here. This shit makes no sense. Okay, it's time out for the cackling and the games. We need to get rid of this. That has to go. Then what the French toast is there to think about? Hey, you supposed to be my friend, but you wanna fight? I'm going. Like I said, I'm recording this video live. Y'all, time whoever to back at home. Listen, child. Mm -mm -mm. I don't <laughs> listen. I don't understand what's going on. Why? I don't. I don't get it. Y'all, let me know. Look. For the ladies who may be watching this video, is it that serious when y'all go on girls trips to, you know, for a dude not to be there? Do these do these women hate men so much they don't even want them in their presence? Like, cause I don't understand why you would be mad, so mad. You know, I can understand feeling the type of way like if you know y'all playing the girls trips only. Let me chime on in on the joint. You know, real talk though. You know, shout out to Miss Didi for real though. You know what I'm saying? Mad love to her. You know, hell yeah, shit. Baby girl doing a thing. You know what I'm saying? Great videos. Y'all need to check it out on Serious Tip. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know, but, you know, for, as far as this girl trip situation, man, y'all, 
y'all go, I mean, y'all seem like y'all got problems and shit. And especially due to social media, now that we, this shit that got relaxed, you know what I'm saying, how it is nowadays. And, you know, everybody comfortable with, you know, putting every damn thing on camera. I mean, shit, these girl trips seem like they fucking dangerous, man. Y'all out there going crazy over going on a trip with each other. It don't make no damn sense. You know, it's supposed to be a, a fun little trip. You know, whoever extra shows up, long as they ain't, you know, long as they ain't got you coming out your motherfucking ding bad ass pocket. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you give a fuck for? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. As long as, they, long as, they, long as I ain't coming out the pocket. If there's somebody show up, as long as I ain't coming out the pocket, then don't make me none. But it is what it is though, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my subscribers out there. Mad love to y'all, man. I sure appreciate you. Uh, if you're new to the joint, you know, hit that uh, like button, that subscribe button. Real talk at all times. You know what I'm saying? And like I always say about this time, that, my friends, is the bottom line.